Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Excellencies, Mr. Governor, the representative of the Honorable Minister of Budget and Planning, that's Permanent Secretary Anako, Engineer Anako, and of course the representative of the Honorable Minister of Information and National Orientation, Dr. Fadolapo. Heads of all ministries and agencies of government here, captains of industry, faculty and members of the LBS and the Pan African University, founding funders and members of the Nigeria Economic Summit Group, members of the international community, our friends from the press, ladies and gentlemen. I am honored to welcome you to the next 30 Public Lecture and Funders Forum. And this is a unique event because it marks the official launch of the 30th anniversary of the Nigerian Economic Summit. Not of the NESG, but of the summit itself. This gathering celebrates and reflects on the three decades of transformative dialogue and economic reforms facilitated by the Nigerian Economic Summit Group. 30 years ago, at a critical juncture in the nation's history, the Nigerian Economic Summit was born. Out of a necessity, when the winds of economic challenges blew fiercely, necessitating a platform for a robust and honest public-private sector dialogue. Since the Maiden Summit in 1993, the Nigerian Economic Summit has been a progressive economic discourse rooted deeply in collaborative efforts between government leaders, private sector visionaries, and our international friends. At the heart of the efforts of the Nigeria Economic Summit Group, the NESG, lies the annual Nigerian Economic Summit, which remains a flagship event. And next study that shall happen in October of this year, marks a significant milestone in the journey of progress and in the impact of the NESG to the nation. Therefore, in commemorating this 30th anniversary of the Nigerian Economic Summit, it is essential to assess our progress and to discuss the role of private and public sector dialogue and the platform that the NESG presents in the reformation and transformation of the Nigerian economic, social economics landscape, so as to provide us insights as to how the future of the NESG should be, how the economic summit process should evolve, and of course, how we should further engage with policy actors going forward. Now, as we stand on the shoulders of those initial gatherings, we of course must reflect on the vital role that the NESG plays and has played and continues to play, and I hope we play for a long time, as a non-profit and a non-partisan policy advocacy group dedicated to fostering a globally competitive private sector-led, and an inclusive Nigerian economy. The last three decades, our commitment has been unwavering, driving reforms through rigorous research and through our many economic and social programs, and of course, the Nigerian Economic Summit itself. And all these programs are aimed 
at shaping the socioeconomic development of our nation and of our people. This 30th summit is a significant milestone and a testament to the endurance of the funding vision of the NESG. The 30th summit reaffirms the essentiality of public-private partnerships in tackling various complex economic realities. However, it must be said that our journey to embracing market mechanisms has not been without challenges, including in the recent years. Each summit has crafted policies and strategies essential for the removal of barriers to competitiveness, to growth, and to an inclusive development and prosperity of our nation. The Nigerian Economic Summit Group is also ready to continue its collaborative efforts with the three arms of the federal and subnational governments, with the private sector, and with the international community to propel Nigeria towards a more resilient, inclusive, and a prosperous future. As a recipient of the stewardship of an institution passed down from the first funding chairman, Mr. Pascal Doze, and the first funding director general, Professor Anya, and through six successive chairmen to me, it is, it is crucial to note that the mission, the vision, the mandate, and the relevance of the NESG have never been more critical and more needed in our country. It is vital to always remember that the NESG is only as strong as its business leaders who continue to pay to serve who work collaboratively with our private sector partners in the national interest, and who do not care about who takes the glory. We honor the best of us, our departed ones that laid the foundation of our great institution, including Chief Ernest Shonekon, Mr. Dick Kramer, and Alaji Ahmed Jordan. They all live in our memories, and arts as bright and shining lights, and their memories may continue to be a blessing. Amen. Over the last 30 years, we've also lost many members of the NESG community, including our dear friend and collaborator in the public sector for many years, Mr. Tunde Lawal, who was the Deputy Secretary of the Federal Executive Council and Permanent Secretary of the Cabinet Office who for more than a decade ensured a smooth collaboration between the NESG and the government in the convening of the Hanwha Economic Summit through the Joint Planning Committee. May all the source of the departed within and across the NESG community, both named and unnamed, may their souls find eternal rest and peace. Amen. Our gathering today also offers a unique opportunity to hear directly from the pioneers who have navigated the summit through its earlier challenges and, provided, and provide the outcomes of our engagement over the years. In partnership with the Lagos Business School, with whom we share a storied and an illustrious relationship and Prof. Obuche also alluded to that in his remarks. Today's event promises to be a reflective and also a forward-looking session that will define the future of the Nigerian Economic Summit, the summit process, and the NESG itself. I'm hopeful that we'll learn a lot from our keynote speaker, Mrs. Ifeko Omogi Okari, who was in the room at the, in the first summit, and of course, our distinguished panelists, including Professor Anya Anya and Dr. Imwet Sile. Thank you all for 
accepting our invitation to share your reflections at today's session. In closing, I would like to thank you all for being a part of our remarkable journey, and I extend my heartfelt wishes for a fruitful deliberation today. I thank you all, and may God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria.